Welcome to the rave.com live. We're here with Forever the Sickest Kids. Guys, thanks for uh, taking Holla. time before your show. To visit uh, with us. Thank you. Bingo. Popper. Second time at the rave, um, and you have the AP tour in the spring, and now you're with the Cobra Starship. Uh, has anyone given you the tour of the rave? Any good stories yet? Can we yet? tell you a good story from the first time? Please do. Can we yeah. tell you? Uh, the first, we haven't gotten a tour yet, have but the first time, um, Kyle walked down in there, and if you'll take a look at his hair, like, he was down in the pool room, and like this chair flew across the room, and then he blacked out. And then he came back on the bus, and his hair was like trippy blonde. And then Caleb, then Caleb was like, "I'll go down there and check it out." And Caleb went down there, and that's whenever the whole story of finding the three bodies happened that you saw on the news and yeah. stuff. Finding three bodies. Excellent. Very nice. Uh, how many times have you told the pure volume story? Multiple. Three or four? Numero Can you tell us just one more time for me? When we were beginning our band, we um, knew that online marketing would play a key role with the different networking sites popping up like crazy. At the time, the only one that I knew of was mp3.com. And then MySpace came out. mp3.com changed to purevolume.com. Facebook, now there's Twitter, Snapfish, Flickr. And uh, so we bought a... I was checking the price because our previous band had a profile on the front page and it really helped our band. So I was checking on the price to get another one for this band and I inquired about the price and accidentally it said, it said click here to, to do something. I guess I didn't read it very carefully. <laughs> but I bought a front page profile, long story short. Uh, Pure Volume liked our music and kept us up there for two weeks instead of one. So from Christmas Day 2006 all the way to January the 8th, of 2007, we're on the front page of Pure Volume, and my cell phone number was at the bottom. And we got management labels, Schnabels, Tanagement, Gonjement, Nables, yep. all of them Everyone contacting us. Yep. So your mistake obviously worked out for the better, then. Right? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Hey. All right, we're gonna yeah. change direction. If you could be any TV character, what would you be? Duh. I'd be Will Smith from Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Mark told me he'd be uh, Monica Carlton. from Moesha. <laughs> <laughs> CD, Underdog, Alma Mater, you guys want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, the album dropped April 29th, came out on Universal Records, Motown Edition. It was the follow-up to our first CD that came out, Television Off, Party On. Mm -hmm. Party and on. we are Party super Party. excited about pushing our second single to radio, which comes out in December. What's it called, Jonathan? I can't tell him yet, can I? Uh, who cares? Oh, who cares? She's a lady. It's going to be our second single. You heard it here first. If you don't know it now, you know. It's the rave show. <laughs> And, uh, and, we're, and we're stoked because uh, She's a Lady has been the number one selling song on iTunes for the past three months straight. Yeah. Even, th even through the Halloween season, it's the number one Halloween song. Yeah. Nice. People have been using it at Halloween parties and stuff. So. Yeah, great. Right. great googly moogly. Well, guys, thanks uh, to Forever the Sickest Kids. And uh, be sure to check them out next time you're at the rave or a city near you. And the CD is Underdog Alma Mater. Check it out. And thanks for watching rave.com live. Yes, yes, yes. Ding, 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 ding.